Texting while driving is illegal in Wisconsin, but not if you're a law enforcement officer. Police are exempt from the law. In fact, officers frequently use computers in their squad cars while they're on the road. But can they do it safely? Fox 11's on special assignment this evening. Robert Hornacek with more on how police deal with distractions in their squad cars. Four little letters. This is the text my daughter was reading when she drove into oncoming traffic. There are nationwide campaigns about the dangers of texting and driving. 45 states, including Wisconsin, have laws against it. But when it comes to protecting the public, police say computers in their squad cars can be essential. It allows officers to get information at real time. Lieutenant Kevin Warwick from the Green Bay Police Department says there's a big difference between officers using their squad car computers and someone texting a friend. They're doing it for a purpose in the capacity of their law enforcement duties to achieve a greater good. It's very important for people to know that because they're going to think, well, if there's laws that prevent it, why can you do it? Keep in mind that they're doing it for, within their law enforcement capacity to achieve, inf to achieve or to gather information that will assist them in the call that they're responding to. But just like texting and driving, computers in squad cars can be a potential distraction. We wanted to find out whether police computers were distracting officers and causing accidents here in Wisconsin. So we contacted several police agencies, and while we did not find any major accidents or injuries caused by distracted police officers, we did find some minor accidents. From 2009 to 2012, Green Bay police were involved in 150 accidents. Three of them were caused by the officer being distracted by the computer. One officer rear-ended another car while looking down at his computer, causing moderate damage to both vehicles. Another officer struck a light pole in a parking lot. A third bumped the car in front of him at a stoplight. No one was injured in any of the crashes. Yes, there is times where that accidents do occur, but 2% of 150, I would not consider a problem. Warwick says officers in Green Bay are discouraged from using the computer while driving, but he says there are times when it's needed. Obviously, we would, we would prefer to that number be zero, but given the amount of time officers are behind, or given the amount of time officers are in an emergency vehicle, the amount of miles that they drive over the course of a year and multiply that by the number of officers on patrol, I think that number is very, very low. Since 1997, state patrol vehicles have been involved in nearly 1,600 crashes. Eight were caused by troopers being distracted by their computers. No one was injured in any of the crashes. When you take the number, the minuscule number of crashes related to the use of this device, uh, given the millions of miles we travel, and the hundreds of officers we have, I really don't think it's a, a problem at this point. If it becomes a problem, we'll address it. Every two years, every police officer in the state has to go through emergency vehicle operations training. Captain Randy Schultz from the Brown County Sheriff's Department says that training is a key reason his department has had zero accidents caused by distracted deputies. What we bring to the officers here is not only the hands-on learning experience or the driving, precision driving, pursuit intervention tactics, all those things, but the knowledge of when your focus has to be on safe driving and these other things can't be happening. I also contacted the Appleton Police Department and the Outagamie County Sheriff's Department, and neither of those agencies reported any crashes involving officers being distracted by their squad car computers. Overall, police say the main causes of accidents involving squad cars are officers being rear-ended or collisions with deer. For Fox 11 on Special Assignment, I'm Robert Hornacek. If you'd like to read some of the policies regarding the use of squad car computers, we invite you to go to the On Special Assignment section in the middle of our website homepage. And if you have an idea for our On Special Assignment team to look into, email them at osa at wluk.com.